All right, guys, it's that time of year again. It's trick-or-treat time. Well, about to be anyway. So let's make some crafts for Halloween. We're going to make a pumpkin jar. And so I'm going to use some more of my Mod Podge paint. I went back and purchased more, and this is orange. So let's just get started. I'm going to take my paint, shake it up. All right, and since I'm using this wide paintbrush, I'm going to use just this cap that I have and pour some paint into the cap. And start painting. And if you've seen my other video um, on how to decorate a tea light votive, then you know it's going to take several coats of this. So you could go this way if you want, or you can go up and down. And this cleans up real nicely with soap and water. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the entire jar and let that dry. And I'll probably use my blow dryer again to help it dry faster. And then I'll come in with two, three, maybe even four more coats. It depends on how dark I want my jar to be. I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like before I add any additional coats once it's dry. And between putting my layers of paint on, I'm going to wash my brush so it doesn't get dry and stiff. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back, guys. Okay, so I'm back and it's dry. This is the first coat. And you guys can see it's pretty clear. If that's a look that you like, then you can just go with one coat. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with two to three more coats. And I'll come back and show you guys uh, what that looks like before we go on to the next step. Okay, so I ended up just using three coats, and this is what I have so far. See if you can see my fingers on the inside. And now we'll start decorating. So what I'll do first is I have some black acrylic paint, and this is gloss. So it was a little thick, and I added just a little bit of water in this cap. So what I'll do is just take my brush and just dab. And I'm going to make lines. You don't have to. This is optional. It's your pumpkin. You do it however you want. So I'm just going to take some lines. And they won't be perfect. Because art is never perfect. And I'll just continue to go all around. And I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, I'm back, and now I'm just going to let this dry. These are my black stripes all the way around. I could continue to go ahead and put my face on now, but I just want to be really careful. It's really cute this way, too. I'm loving this glass paint. And like I said in my other video, you can pick it up at Walmart for $1.77. It has some really pretty colors. Okay, let this dry, and I'll see you guys soon. Now that my lines have dried, I can go ahead and go in and do my face. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a simple pumpkin face with the triangle eyes and triangle nose. Um, but you guys can do whatever you want. You can do the eyes round and do lashes if you want to make it cute like a little girl's pumpkin. But this is a really kids friendly craft. So let me just go ahead and start. You can also use like um, a Sharpie marker if you don't want to freehand paint. Um, okay, I think I like maybe this side, and I'm just going to do an eye here. Do another one here. And as you can see, I'm using my lines as a guide. And 
Now I'll come in with the nose. Okay, and now the mouth. I actually made a mistake on that part, but we'll fix it. It's got a really big tooth. <laughs> and we'll put one here. Okay. And maybe a small one here. He's a Halloween pumpkin, so he's not perfect, okay? So um, that's just a quick little face that you could put on your pumpkin. And then if you want to, you can make them small enough to do four different faces or even, you know, want to come on the back and do another face. You can do that as well. Um, do the eyes a little different this time. And I'm just rushing through this so you guys can see how it's done. You'll take more time on yours, I'm sure. Now just the nose. And maybe a different kind of mouth on this one. Let's see. Maybe kind of ghostly looking. Uh, with sharp teeth. Okay, so I'll just touch this up and I'll be back after it dries. Okay, so now that we've set our jar aside to dry and it should be dry shortly, let's go ahead and decorate the cap. I have a top here and I'm going to paint it green, but before I do that I'm going to take these two bottle caps, glue these two together and I'll either use my glue gun or my E6000 and I'll glue these caps one on top of another and then glue them to the top of the jar to make it look like the top of the pumpkin the stem the pumpkin stem and it has like little ridges so we'll do that next okay so our glue gun is ready we'll go ahead and use that and I'm just going to take my cap, put it here so you guys can see it. And just take the bottom part of the first cap and carefully put my glue around the edges. And you would do the same thing if you were using E6000 or super glue. And I'm just going to move it for a second so I can put it directly in the middle. It really doesn't matter if it's directly in the middle or not, but as you can see, we have that one. So now we'll take our second cap. I'm going to put the glue around the edges and glue that on. 
and try to line the ridges up. And if you have a little spillage, that's okay. You can take the dry glue off later. Just press down. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Yeah, I kind of like this. It's got like a little bend in it. I like that. Hmm, so maybe you guys can do that too. You see it? It gives it a little bit of a curve. And so that'll be all stem. So next we'll just paint that green. So now I'm going to use some more acrylic paint. And it's called Kelly Green. So I'm just going to shake that up really well. And pour some into this top. And you can use whatever brand you want. You don't have to use this particular brand. And this is the fun part. Well, the whole thing is really fun. The whole little craft is. And I still have like some glue that I wasn't able to pull off. And that's fine because stems are never just perfect. It's perfectly smooth. And if you want to, you can also go in and kind of like... Uh, well, you can use like a sponge and put a little bit of brown. I might do that too. I'm not sure yet. Take away some of the green. Just think about, you know, the way a stem would look on a pumpkin. Okay. So, I'm probably going to do about three more coats. Let this dry, and then after it's done, I'll come back and let you guys see it. Okay, so I just finished coloring the top, and as you can see, it looks like a stem. Now, I might go ahead and add some glitter to it. I'm not sure, but I'll come back and let you guys see. But I will seal it using some of my triple thick. Okay, because I don't want to hold my top in my hand and mess it up, I just went ahead and found another jar, and I'll use that to hold the top while I paint it. Well, while, while I add the triple thick. And that's what it looks like. Oops. And just brush it on. And I did decide to go ahead and add some glitter, so I went ahead and picked that up. Okay, so that should be enough. So I went and found some paper to put underneath my jar before I start pour my glitter onto my lid. Makes you think about St. Patrick's Day. And all the glitter is falling onto the paper. I'll just collect that later and put it back inside this container. Okay, and there we have it. I'll come back and let you guys see the finished project. Here's my finished jar. And you can put a tea light in and I'll show you guys what that looks like later. So you can use it for your kids room for a night light. Um, you can also put candy in here. You can put candy corn in here because the paint is on the outside. The glass is still safe on the inside. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, stay tuned. I'll show you what it looks like with the tea light. And this is the tea light that I'm using and I picked these up at the dollar store. It's two to a pack and it's one dollar and it's battery operated so you don't have to worry about a uh, fire. So you just turn it on and I'll show you guys what they look like inside the jar. And let me say this too, um, I just had like some little rope and some beads and all I did was wrap it around the, the jar to give it a little bit more style. That's what it looks like with the light on. Let's turn the light off. So if you want to have a really spooky night, <laughs> no, but it's not really spooky, but you can put like a happy face um, pumpkin on one side and a scarier face on the other side. And you can put this beside your bed on your um, nightstand. And here's both of them with my little battery powered tea light.
and the moon actually glows in the dark. And I freehand painted these, but like I said before, you don't have to freehand. You can use a Sharpie marker and um, draw it on there first. Or you can go to like a craft store and they sell like black silhouettes that you can actually paste on your jar. Alright guys, hope you guys like this little idea and hope you try it. If you do, let me know. Have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. Thanks for watching guys. I really do love you guys and thanks so much to all my new subscribers. Thanks for the ongoing support from my old subscribers. I'll see you soon with another Halloween craft.